Uh, this little uh, jig I got here, I always put wheels on everything so that I can move it around the shop. Uh, these, these pieces are, are loose. I could take them in and take them out. Uh, I just built a, a frame uh, so that the 4x4 four four would uh, fit down in there nice. So when you're going to cut a log, you set it there, safe, you take your chainsaw, and I like to use electric chainsaw, it's quiet, you know, you can use it in the house, you don't have to mix gas and oil with it. Uh, I think I paid $58 for it 10 years ago. I sharpened the chain myself. Uh, when I lived in Oregon, <clears throat> uh, I got, uh, went to church with some uh, loggers, professional loggers, and they showed me how to sharpen a chain with the file and that gizmo. And uh, I have keep this uh, same chain, about seven years I've had this thing, and it, it does me just great. Now, if you had a gas-powered one, we would, none of us would be able to hear. This is about as loud as it gets. But it, it's, it's pretty obvious what I can do is size the log, whatever size I want if I want it. If I want a perfectly round log, I just take the diameter there and then, you know, make it the same. But I have, a, I like um, kind of an oval bowl, you know, that's not perfectly round. This is one of the ones that is a reject. Uh, it has the bark on it. And uh, you don't have to make a round bowl. People will say, well, that's not a round bowl, you know, when I tell them, well, if you want a round bowl, go to Kmart's and buy a plastic one. This has got a little character to it, and that's what I think we're all about. It's just something that's handmade, that's got character. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when I turn uh, bowls, uh, this is a piece of, uh, of uh, pine. Uh, I like to put a recessed foot on the bowl, recessed foot, so that I can take... Uh, in other words, when, uh, when I mount the bowl, this, this, imagine this is a block, I, I, I screw the, the face plate on the, part, the front part of the bowl that's going to go away. So the screw holes, they disappear. So I, I, I screw this on to start with. So I actually make my foot first, and then I'll shape it like that. And then with a recessed foot like that, the chuck I have, when I'm getting ready to turn this part of it, you know, I take and put that expanding the chuck that expands in there, and that holds it right there so that I can turn it this way. So that's the way I like to turn them. And uh, um, anyway, So we got a nice flat side now. I've split that thing in half. And <clears throat> this actually, um, you know, I could probably, if I wanted to, I could make four bowls out of these two pieces of wood, four small ones, or cut it down and make an oval-shaped bowl. Uh, I like uh, using um, old wood that I find in the, in the woods and stuff. Uh, you see it's got a lot of spalting in here, um, nice decorative. So when that hollows out, that's going to be an attractive bowl, uh, just with what nature does to it. So anyway, 
once I slab them like this, I've got this piece of wood screwed on here that works perfect as a fence, this part, okay? So, I'll get rid of this too, that might be in the way just a little bit. Okay, so, now what I want to do here, I'm going to cut a little flat right on this round part here where I could put my face plate. So now I have a flat on there now, you can see. You can put your three inch uh, face plate, screw that right to the back part, okay? So then when you, when you screw that on, you put that, mount that, this is the way it's mounted on the lathe like this, <coughs> so that uh, this part here becomes the bottom. So I, in effect, I turn that circular uh, recessed on the bottom here, and then I've got the bottom done. So then once the bottom is done, I turn it over, put it on the, on the lathe like this, and then this becomes the inside of the bowl. And so if I'm careful, I can save some of this bark to have bark around the rim of the bowl if I want, but this is old and some of this bark's fallen off. But you get the general idea, basically. That's, so this is a safe rig to use. Uh, I, 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 see, I still have uh, all 10 of these, you know, and, uh, and that, haven't cut my knee off or anything yet. But uh, this, uh, somebody down in the west part showed me this fixture years ago, and uh, I've used it. It's very safe, uh, and of course, portable that you can, so, uh, not, not really rocket science, but that's the way I do them anyway. And uh, I just brought these as examples to show you that they're, they're really nothing fancy to write home about, but you get the idea of how I'm doing this. To me, that's a pretty simple way to prepare, a, you know, to, to prepare something to make, to make a bowl out of this, you know? Pretty, pretty simple way for... For, for me, anyway. So that's about it. I made a mess in here. Why don't you just split that just of cutting it the Split it? Yeah. Well, well, yeah, if, if I wanted to wedge it, to split it that way, I could. But uh, I think I have more control by cutting it with the chainsaw. Uh, if, if you split it, sometimes it'll... it'll it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can try to try to try to cut the pith right out. So it's, and there is no right way or wrong way. It's just whatever works best for you. You know, whatever's easier for you. This happens to work for me really well. I, I uh, slap face paint on there, and I'm ready to go. I could prep a bunch of these and have them ready to go, and then just use them like that. <sighs> Do you trim that piece down so it's more square? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, this is at the point we're at right now. I could take this over to the bandsaw 
you know, and make it more equal. You know, uh, right now it's it's distorted because uh, it's not. You know, obviously, if it, if I wanted it totally round, you know, I would have this diameter and make it the same there. But with this, like this, when it's on the lathe, actually, when I'm turning this, I can get rid of a lot of that right on the lathe. You know, in other words, I can I can trim that down as, as wherever I want, and uh, that way, because I like the lathe, that's why I got one. So I use the lathe, although I could bandsaw it. There's, you know, a half dozen ways of making it equal, you know. But I happen to like more of an oval bowl that's longer than it is wide, and kind of like a tray kind of thing. I just like to play around that way. Anyway, George. Do you ever have a problem with the picture that No, I don't, actually. Uh, it's, uh, the, the wheels are fairly small, and uh, I have never had a problem with it moving around on me. It seems to stay pretty stationary, although if I wanted to put something there, like a stop or something, I could, or some sort of a, a ring that I could set the feet in. But it, it doesn't, actually, uh, it's never been a problem for me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it. Anything else? Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.